started teaching CPR on first aid on my days off from the, the station, and we began teaching an EMT program. Mm -hmm. So we were approached by our mayor at the time, uh, Mayor Roberts, and uh, he asked if we would consider uh, creating a medical assistant program. Mm -hmm. So we reached out to some local nurses and we got their input. We developed uh, and designed the program mm -hmm. and we got the approvals uh, through uh, the proper agencies. Uh, so now we had moved into teaching CPR and first aid, mm -hmm. uh, medical assisting, and EMT. And then uh, we decided that it was time to uh, move to a larger facility. Um, so we moved from a 400 square foot facility to a 1500 square foot facility. So one thing led to another. We brought on a medical billing program, then we brought on a paramedic program, and a phlebotomy program. Uh, then before we knew it, we had evolved into essentially a career-based school, a vocational school. When we realized we needed federal funds and it would come from the Department of Education, we thought, well, let's call the Department of Education and let them know we need financial aid. So we gave them a call and they answered the phone and we told them who we were. We were at Alot Valley Medical College at the time. And we said, we'd like to have financial aid for our students. And they said, okay, great. Who are you accredited by? That was the first time we heard that word. And we had the young lady on speaker and we looked at each other when she said that word, like, what does that mean? And so we just looked at each other and I took a shot and I said, well, Antelope Valley Medical College. And she started laughing. She said, no, honey, who are you accredited by? Who's your accrediting agency? And we said, well, could you help us? So we took, shared our story with her and she was very kind to let us know what it all meant. And that was the whole new world for us when we realized that there's a calling and now we know the road that we need to take. Now to go through this road, we had to really um, make a lot of sacrifices. Uh, we had to, there were times when our electricity wasn't paid, our mortgage wasn't paid. Literally, my husband and I slept in the car to make this happen. But at the end of the day, we were proud to say that um, we were nationally accredited, which is a vocational um, industry for our institution, and we became Antelope Valley Medical College. And then from there, my husband and I sat at home and realized there's a bigger calling, and we're not going to tell anyone because we don't want the pressure. And uh, we quietly decided and designed our own strategic plan of um, birthing a homegrown university. And what we've embraced is that we're here to teach um, all kind of avenues. We have our degree programs, we have up to our master's program, but we also have our certificate programs that we will not um, be uh, removing and they're very career-based programs. So if you graduated as a pioneer um, and you need assistance later on, we will be more than happy to have you come back and we will try and help you find uh, a job again. We have psychology, we have communication, we have electrical engineer, we have sports management. Sports management. One of the, the newest uh, approvals that we, we've gotten that we're extremely excited about, we've had our paramedic program approved for about 13 years now but the program itself was approved in Kern County. So we actually had a small campus in Roseman mm -hmm. um, and the county of Los Angeles had not approved a paramedic program within its limits for 24 years. Uh, but once we received regional, um, we reapplied to the county and we brought that program here to um, uh, Lancaster and our Sierra campus. This is absolutely our community. Um, we're, we're very glad that we've built so many roots here. We planted um, you know, a lot of seeds, um, starting with, you know, my parents coming from Chile and being able to proudly, you know, be Americans and plant the seeds that they've been able to plant here in, in, in this amazing city of Lancaster, which is where we started, and being able to go to our, myself, to our great community college. My husband, uh, five grueling years at University of Hawaii. However, we, you know, my husband's reputation with football here, and we definitely have roots here, and we're not planning on putting roots anywhere else and because of that we want to make sure and showing our kids too is that where you live is where you give and we want to continue to do that. When I first approached our board of trustees and our faculty and staff on the idea of bringing athletics I got a little pushback um, so we started with a, a club team mm -hmm. um, a club softball sport um, was the sport we went with and our young ladies uh, did a bang up job they end up becoming the national uh, champions um, so I got a little more buy-in uh, from our faculty staff and um, our board of trustees. Shortly after that, we brought on uh, baseball, and then we became part of the uh, NAIA. Uh, then our men's and women's basketball uh, program turned around and, and won uh, conference uh, championships. It's really cool to see 
a young man or young woman who has no intention on playing sports here on campus, but they're wearing all the UAV uh, athletic gear um, because they're buying in. Uh, so athletics, um, we felt, um, and I uh, more specifically felt that it has been such a huge part of my life in terms of building um, the ability to work with others, um, working on a common goal, um, critical thinking. Um, it helped not only uh, with me in the classroom, but as a firefighter paramedic. Um, and then it helped uh, with bringing our institution together um, with a common bond. There are a lot of uh, success stories with our culinary program. Yeah from seeing our graduates on the Food Network, yeah. on the Cooking Channel. We have one young student that graduated from the culinary program and he was on TV and he ended up winning the show. And so it also shows how amazing our chefs are, of how they're teaching and how they're sharing their skills with these students. The Pioneer Pub is where lunch and meals are served, um, but it also dubs as a hangout for the students. Mm -hmm. There's Wi-Fi in there. Most of the faculty and staff will kind of go in and get out because it's, it's a place for students just to be. They hang out in there but we'll have stand-up nights in there, open mic nights, and lunch is prepared by students. That's part of their rotation, the culinary and the baking and pastry students. So it's a really fun yeah. environment, mm -hmm. and it's just a really cool atmosphere. And that's all head by our famous chef, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos Sanchez, and he always says he makes it with love. So if you haven't met our chef, please do so. We want to thank you for allowing us to share our story because it has been a, a long journey. We also want to thank, for again, our staff for believing in us. And we want to thank the city of Lancaster because they did embrace us. And we'll never forget when uh, the city approached us and said, yes, do it, the university. And with their approval, we, we decided to take this journey. So thank you. Thank the city of Lancaster and thanks to our staff.